Aufstieg in den Abstieg. Ganz unten. Human sculptures recite texts on stage. It is Avin Wurm's latest venture into the art world. It's a sculpture made of words, sentences revolving and twining around a specific theme. What it's really about is the essential themes of an artist's existence, success, lack of success, the flow of ideas. Matthias Hartmann participated as director and dramatic advisor. The texts are all by Erwin Wurm, who wrote them on long plane journeys. Wurm is totally theatrical. That's why he interests me. He connects highly amplified banalities with the most existential questions of art and being human. He's a truly radical artist. Ein radikaler Künstler. Erwin Wurm's word sculpture opens the 30th birthday celebrations of the Ropatsch Gallery in Salzburg. Tadeas Ropatsch is one of the world's most important gallerists. He also represents Georg Baselitz, Josef Beuys, and Andy Warhol. I think if, as a gallerist, you stay as close as possible to the artists, you can't really get off track. The danger is often that a gallerist turns too slavishly to the market. Ropatch's concept works. Avin Wurm has become one of the most successful contemporary artists. It's fun when you're part of it, out in the forefront. But ultimately that's all it is. What's really difficult is to formulate an artistic work, to form it and then to take it further and maintain the fascination. That's the real challenge. And you do it with yourself at home in your studio. And that's where the unseen battles are fought, and they are gigantic. At the end of the 1990s, in Wurm's one-minute sculptures, visitors themselves became works of art. The critics enjoy the humor with which he interprets everyday objects. Often he turned the home he grew up in into art, on the roof of a museum, or in distorted form on a Canal Grande in Venice. You go inside and this indeterminate, claustrophobic feeling grows in you. You can say, that's like the society I grew up in. It's not fun, really. It's enough to make you weep. But it's another view of reality. I'm not a fan of demonstrating emotions because it makes people small and heavy. It presses down on us and diminishes us. I like works that are intellectually stimulating. But performing a word sculpture in front of a critical audience is new for Erwin Wurm. I was very nervous. I've never experienced anything like it before. Exhibitions are usually relaxed, and I know how they work. The word sculpture confronts the audience, including many collectors and contemporary artists, with harsh criticism of the art business. I didn't really feel like I was being reviled as a collector. I think it was really about how an artist feels about himself in today's art world. I was pleasantly surprised. It showed a great wealth of imagination. I don't trust the applause. I'm a mistrusting person. Erwin Wurm uses the vernissage to explain his concept of art. You also collect meaninglessness, but the free space that arises is magnificent and essential. And then he muses about his next projects. I always have tremendous struggles with myself. I think I have a certain quality and of course I want to maintain it and to outdo it. And those are the struggles in my work. And sometimes I'm doing better and sometimes not so well. And my goal is to keep on doing that. Avin Wurm, an artist who reinvents the world every single day.